Hello, welcome back to Beauty Bee and to the start of a new project pan on this channel. This is the supporting cast project pan. It's, I believe, my original idea. I mean, there are so many projects out there. There could very well be one that is super similar, but none that I'm aware of. And the little twist that this one introduces is that it's really only one item that you have a goal for. In my case, the item that I'm going to have a goal for at the moment is this blue eyeshadow. This is actually in my year-long project pan as well. And the big goal of this project is to either hit pan, which is what I'm going to try to do, or pan that one item. So my for my project, I want to hit pan in this shimmery blue shade. Where the cast of supporting characters comes in is in the other items. These are four or five items that would play nicely with the, uh, <laughs> the lead in this project. And let me introduce you to our supporting cast. So the first is this e.l.f. lipstick. This is one of their Hydrating Core Lip Shines. I have mine in the shade Delightful. And it is a really sheer light purple lipstick with quite a bit of mauve in it. It's really very pretty. And like everything else I'll be introducing, definitely something that I would be happy to wear with the screen. Next up, we have the Urban Decay shadow stick. This one is in the shade Mildew, and it is a green shadow stick. This is somewhat metallic, and it has a little bit of blue to it as well. I think that I will likely use this both as eyeliner when I'm using that blue, or as a base to put the blue over. I find that that blue really does transform this green really nicely and makes this deeper, like, dark mermaid vibe. I'm really a fan of it. It's I think it's a beautiful effect. Item number three is another eyeshadow. This is a mauve shade. It is originally from the Wet n Wild Silent Treatment Palette, though clearly I have depotted it. This is something that I would be happy using in my crease when I'm using that blue. I feel like I keep switching back and forth with, between calling it a blue and calling it a green, but uh, that's kind of how it performs, is as somewhere in between blue and green, and I really, really love it. And then finally, we have a blush. In my opinion, this is more of a blush lighter. This is from Wet n Wild, and it is one of their hummingbird blushes. This is in the shade Don't Flutter Yourself. I have no interest in panning any of these items anytime soon. However, I do want to be getting good use out of my makeup, just in general, and also I want to be getting good use out of my makeup while it's still fresh. I mean, there are some items in here, particularly the lip balm and the uh, shadow stick. These will not be good forever. I know that, you know that and I would like to use them and use them up while they are still good. And I will be taking some macro shots just to get a really good grasp on exactly how much product is in all of these items and so that I can track progress. I will be updating either when I hit pan in this shadow, in which case we will uh, roll out all the other items, or at least most of the other items, and choose a new focus item as well as a new cast of supporting characters, or after two months. I think you can tell that this is a pretty chill project. The real goal is just to bring in some items that make you excited to use your focus item and could give you that really easy, everyday, don't even have to think about it kind of look. I mean, I could absolutely put all five of these items on my face at any one time and be honestly pretty happy with the look I would get. I actually think 
maybe not with the mauve eyeshadow, but I'm pretty sure that the last couple times I've worn the uh, shimmery blue that is my main focus, I have worn the green shadow stick, the lipstick, and this blush. Now, if you would like to play along, please feel free. Definitely let me know so that I can watch your videos or see your posts on Instagram. I am very interested to see what y'all come up with and I'm really excited for this project just in general. I think that it will be a really good fit for me, how I like to use my makeup, and for my channel. So with that, I think we have a finished introduction. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you'll consider liking and subscribing if you want to follow along with this project. And I really hope that I will see you in the next video. Bye!